Hey, Mario, why are we stuck in this weird flower place? Oh, I don't know, Luigi, but we're stuck here until we can figure out where to go next. Anyways, we're back in more Brothership. And I have 478 Moonies. And uh, one side quest that I honestly can't be arsed to do right now because it means I have to go back to the Twisty Leaf Island. And, uh, yeah, I'm kind of lazy for that. Anyways, I literally just woke up, and I'm ready to do some Brothership. I haven't even had breakfast yet, so I'm gonna kind of feel a little shitty until I have my breakfast, but that won't be ready for like another 25 minutes or so, so I'm gonna play some Brothership until then to kill some time. And then I'm gonna keep playing it, even after I have my breakfast, because, um, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw this in the trailers. The spinning flower platforms. Oh, yeah. oh look at that, we have a we have a seedling, um or not, it's not a seed it's not a seedling, it's a different enemy, isn't it? It's a seed seedy? I think. It's a seedy recolor already. Oh no, it's a Seedle. Seedle R. Oh my god, the R naming scheme from Dream Team. Also, I don't have any BP left, so... That kind of stinks. Dude, that's the- it's like- they're like referencing all the games here. Also, can we just take a moment to appreciate this background, by the way? Look at that, that, that is so good. We got syrup. Oh. <laughs> You're already dead. Well, guys, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna use our very first item. Yeah! Well, Mario actually drinks the syrup. He doesn't throw it up into the air, and then he eats the syrup. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro actually chugs the fucking syrup. That's hilarious. I can't tell if I like that better or not, because just how funny that looks. Okay, so we're 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 going with the uh, the R naming scene from Dream Team, which I've always found to be pretty cool. I mean, I've always just found it really weird that like. We're naming things like, like, why R, specifically? Why the letter R? And I think it has something to do with the naming scheme in Japan, which, um, you know, I might look that up right now, because I'm actually kind of curious. Like, a good example is, like, Goomba R, or, um, Fly Guy R. So I'm gonna look up what these enemies are actually called in Japanese. Fly Guy R. <laughs> Um, let's see. No, that is- that's, that's just straight up their name in Japanese. They, they go with the R naming scheme. Goomba R. <laughs> Which is a fantastic enemy, by the way, because it's literally just a Goomba. Yeah, so Goomba R is Kuribo Aru. Which, um, you know, I've heard that on I've heard of that enough after watching so much Sailor Moon R. And how, you know, in between, uh... You know, Sailor Moon always does that thing where um, they have like little transitions halfway through the episode. And Sailor Moon is just like, Sailor Moon, I do. <laughs> you know, ever since the land broke up, our connector isn't flowing like it should. But I don't know if that's the reason some of these buds aren't blooming. Looks like shit to me. <laughs> Bro, I, I, my my Luigi is like kind of wild. I don't think I did this. Lu I don't think I did this like impression of Luigi for other Mario and Luigi playthroughs. But my, this Luigi and Brothership, he's like, he's like freaking like full of sass and like I don't know. He likes to bully people. He's like, man, you look like shit. <laughs> if they all bloomed, you'd have a bridge to the lighthouse on the opposite side. 
Eh? How can you make these buds bloom? Yes. These buds have hard shells. Maybe they'd open if you give them a good whack. A whack. But as you can see, some of these buds are out of reach. Oh, I got a big brain idea. What? You could get those if you had something to send flying to them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, pretty handy that this is right here. This flower spits up a lot of seed pods, one after another. A lot of them fall to the ground, though. Too much for one person to handle. Oh! Wow, well, what a coincidence that they're marked with red and green. If my back, shoulders, and knees weren't so creaky, I could probably help. Oh, well, apparently Yakuza Kiwami is coming out for Switch now. I think I already knew about that, but I kind of forgot it was releasing so soon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what to do, what to do. Hmm. Wow, it's really weird that there's an L there. Oh. <laughs> I right, got a bit of Luigi logic to start off the episode. Big brain. Oh, you're doing the big brain woman, Luigi? Okay. Alright, let's do it. We got a little rhythm game again. Fun. I hope we. I hope I have more of those because I love. I love those in a Bowser's Insight story. What? You made the buds bloom. We can cross the flower bridge again. Thank you. Yes. I love how floppy they look when they jump. <laughs> I know it's a really random thing, but ah, there's just something really charming about that. Oh yeah. Here, I'm gonna pluck all your vegetables. Have you heard about Grampy Turnip? You might find him buried on the ground. People who met him get long lectures that might be helpful, or they might not. Personally, I don't go around pulling up plug radishes, so I'll never meet him. I don't know, something tells me that there's gonna be an achievement to like finding all those guys or whatever. I don't know. I mean, I found two so far, so that's not bad, right? It's a go. So we got, we got more of these. Boing. Oh man. Kind of ain't shit there. Oh yeah! Anyway, let's fight. Let's fight the seedles. I keep calling them seedlings. I think seedling is a different enemy altogether. Wait, isn't seedling a Pokemon? <laughs> Wait, hang on. Seed seedling. Seedling Pokemon. Yeah, seedling is a fucking Pokemon. Wait, no, it's not. No, Seedling's not a Pokemon. I'm thinking of C Dot. Well then what fucking game has Seedling in it? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I'm, I'm I'm getting confused. I literally just woke up. Oh my god, I I wasn't ready for that again. I keep forgetting the red shell works that way. <laughs> I'm gonna get 3D red I'm gonna get 3D red shell way later than green shell. Oh, really does just target random enemies. Yeah. Boom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if you get I wonder if you get any cool things from uh like jumping on the seeds that they throw. 
That'd be a pretty oh, neat. Yeah. You can tell if it's Mario or Luigi. I, I didn't get to read the rest of that. But okay. We can just skip one of the. We can just skip two of those flowers. I've never seen you before. This is your first time on Floral Island. What do you think of our bouncy flowers? Aren't they a hoot? A hoot. Oh, we got this again. These these move so much slower than normal. One up mushroom. Man, I can't first strike for shit. <laughs> I'm going to be using bro's attacks as often as I can, though. I mean, if I have the BP to spare, I might as well, right? I almost cocked it up again, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that Seedle is just gone, bro. Finishers really just make this feel more whole, though, honestly. <laughs> Yay, Linguini leveled up! Okay, so yeah, the experience thing is only affecting Luigi, so Luigi's gonna get level ups faster. That's kind of funny, honestly. I know that's gonna bug people who like to, um, you know, like, level up their bros evenly. But you know what? I, I I don't mind. I don't really care. <laughs> oh yeah, let me heal. Let me BP up. Okay, so it is actually BP in this game though. It's SP in most games, but they returned it to BP again. So honestly, I, I feel uh, right at home. I feel right at home, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I woke up this morning, and, uh, I'm kind of waiting for Jose to give me the heads up on what we're playing Silent Hill 2. <laughs> Which is another reason why I'm playing Brothership so early. Oh, they got a new Seedle already. There's a blue one. Hydro Seedle. <laughs> also, Luigi outspeeds Mario. Now, that's kind of fucked. <laughs> That is extremely fucked, what the hell? <laughs> okay, so yeah, they deadass just made 3D Grain Shell, like, an AoE move now. Which, honestly, that kinda goes hard, to be honest. Also means I'm not gonna be using 3D Red Shell too much. Well, maybe I will now, because Mario leveled up and he gets more speed. Dang. Three speed. I mean, Mario's not too far behind. He will get far behind later, though. Whoopee! I'm having my usual hash browns for breakfast. Oh! Okay, you're a healer. Oh, he gone. <laughs> that was quick. Hey, I mean, if I got the syrups to spare, I might as well. I might as well, like, use my bros attacks. And we can get those achievements quicker. Oh, yeah. Okay, 
Okay, good. They don't pre they don't prematurely end the attack if the enemy dies. <laughs> they let the enemy stay alive so you can deal the final blow with an excellent. Unless you you know cock it up on purpose. Which um yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess it makes sense that these enemies are, um, you know, in this world, or in this island. It makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I mean, it is the flower island, after all, so having all these flower enemies makes a lot of sense. I definitely feel like the timings in this game are a lot less strict than other Mario and Luigi's, though. Alright, Luigi, time to chug another syrup. <laughs> you know the drill. Oh, speed up. Wait, these guys can buff? Whoops. Did it too early. 80% speed. Wait a minute. Does that mean speed works the way I think it does in this game? Is it paper jam speed? Where, um, if you have double speed of your enemy, you, um, get a second turn? Dude, if that's the case, I need to put all my speed on the Mario. Man, I might need to test that now. <laughs> Man, that's got, that's got me really curious. <laughs> yeah. I mean, both of the both of the three D shells. They have their benefits, because AoE, or single target, it really depends if you're fighting a boss or like a horde of enemies. Both have their like uses, that's the thing. Also, Syrups only heal 10 BP, that's normal, right? They usually heal only 10 BP? Whoa! Wait, no, Syrups usually heal 20, don't they? It's Mario and Luigi! Yes, it's me! <laughs> I guess we got Todd's on this island. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, wait, we got boxes here. Shit, I can't make it to cross! Hmm, gotta do another big brain moment. What's up? Oh yeah, you feel new ability coming on? Yeah. One that can say get you over the cliffs? You got something like that in you? I don't know, maybe. Oh. <laughs> They're thinking about the flowers. Or more specifically, those propellers oh. on the flowers. Huh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi strokes of genius. <laughs> what? Mario! Oh, oh shit, I think I know what you're talking about. I'm guessing the answer is yes. Alright, I, uh, I, I had a little break. My hash browns finished, like, in the middle of this tutorial. So it says, tilt right stick to select UFO spin. Oh, it's mapped to the right stick now. Whoa, what the? Spin with X. And press Y to stop. Oh, 
Oh yeah! That's amazing, how'd you do that? That's the kind of thing you pull off when you work together? You two are real pros, making that a pros move. Eh, <laughs> pros move. Eh, eh, nothing? A bruise move? Hmm. Uh, a bros move. Uh. Or brows, maybe. <laughs> uh, a bros move. Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's the one. You're in the UFO spin. Mario and Luigi can work together to perform bros moves, which will help you get through all sorts of obstacles. You learn more throughout your adventure. I mean, just seeing the word, just seeing the words "bros" moves in 2024 just makes me happy. <laughs> Mario and Luigi can only do bros moves when they're together. In this one, they turn into a UFO and float a short distance through the air. So you can uh, tilt the right stick to select moves. Cool. Can I do it anywhere? Oh, wait, hang on a minute. So there's there's three different bros moves, or maybe there's more. I don't know. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of dope, honestly. Dude, having a map to a right having a map to the right stick is fucking genius. Because you can just say like, ah, flip flick the right stick to the right. There you go. There you can do your move. Oh, and Luigi, too! What a stroke of luck! <laughs> what are these toes trying to do bros moves, too, and they're failing? <laughs> yeah, maybe. You happen to know where we are? I hope Princess Peach is safe. I worry about her. I gotcha. Huh? Ship Ship Island, you say? You're gonna reconnect the islands and bring the world back to normal? You always aim high, Mario Luigi. We'll head to Ship Shape Island too once this island's linked to it. Mm -hmm. Yay! Oh, yeah. Honestly, I think one of my favorite things about this art style are the coloring. The colors. Like, if you look at Mario, like, he goes from, like, like his hat, it goes from, like, red to pink. And then if you look at Luigi, it goes from, like, green to, like, turquoise. Or teal, whatever. Aren't teal and turquoise like the same color almost? <laughs> Hang on, I gotta, I gotta look this up. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta compare turquoise and teal. Yeah, they're almost the fucking same. Teal's like a darker turquoise. Okay, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely, um, I think it's more like a, it's more like teal than honestly, but whatever. The only reason I know those colors. Is because we had markers in elementary school, and there were two different kinds of markers. There were turquoise markers and teal markers, and I remember they looked. To me, they looked the fucking exact same, but they're definitely different. <laughs> oh yeah! I love that the bros always like, they're always like, yay, we did it! I will admit, this music is slightly growing on me, though, the more I listen to it. I mean, again, I gotta- I, I still need to listen to it. I might have to listen to it, like, outside of streams. To, like, get a feel for it. Oh. <laughs> Bro freaking raped me, dude. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do your heals. Hey, 
And you're gonna you're gonna heal as well. Oh shit, no no BP? Well, this is why we have uh, syrups, you know? Bro, the fact that syrups only heal 10, though, is kind of throwing me off. Wait, green shield? This green shield costs 5 BP? No wonder it's so good. <laughs> Fucking dab again. It's not, it's not as funny, though, as the, um... It's not as funny as it is in Paper Jam, though. <laughs> hey! You're gonna be seeing a lot of this- you're gonna be seeing these animations a lot. <laughs> So that seed only has like that seed is almost dead actually. I think how it might just be a hunch, but I think how green shell works is it targets the enemy with the lowest HP. Again, I could be wrong about that, but that's my understanding on how it works. Ten coins. Ten coins doesn't feel like much, though, anymore. <laughs> Just start giving me at least, like, 20 coins. Mm. Okay, I don't know why I was expecting there to be hidden blocks there. <laughs> we literally just got an ability that lets us go over here. Well, how are we doing on this island? We have, uh, lots of places we can go. I'm not sure what these, uh, like, red crosses are for. Oh. Oh, I see. That was a wall that was previously blocked off, as Elizabeth says. Or whatever, whatever she says. <laughs> An area that was previously inaccessible is now available. Boing. Thanks, Linguini. That's cool, they're starting to put them in more interesting spots as well. Here, I'm gonna- I think I'm actually gonna use some syrups. Well, here's the thing, the reason why I'm using the syrups in battle is so I can get that achievement. The achievement where you use, um, items in battle. So if I can use, like, 20 syrups in battle, then, uh, you know, then I'd be able to take advantage of that. Wow. Alright, let's get rid of the Hydro Seedle. The thing is, they're almost dead already. I find it interesting that the green shell costs more because it's an AoE move. <laughs> I guess they know how good AoE can be in games like this, where, you know, sometimes AoE is, uh, scarce. I mean, it's especially scarce in a game like Superstar Saga, where the only person who can do AoE moves is Luigi. So, if anything, this game is also calling back to Superstar Saga, where Luigi is the first one to get an AoE move. <laughs> Which is kind of cool, honestly. 
I'm pretty sure the only AoE move Mario ever gets in Superstar Saga is like, I think it's, I think Advanced Fire Bros. I think that's the only, that's the only time. Pretty sure. Oh, <laughs> I thought I, I thought I could pre- wait, hang on, I got a question. Oh man, you know what? Missed opportunity, honestly, to be able to press R3 to s switch back to the default. Oh yeah. Well, more rhythm games. These, these are fun, though. I like these. Whoops. Did it too late. Oh, wow. I'm fucking up. like rhythm shit. Hey, I asked for more of those, and hey, it said, you know, you shall receive, you know? That's pretty awesome. Alright, let's, uh, let's move on, then. That one side quest that I have is gonna keep bugging me, though, because I can't do it right now. I mean, I can, but I just don't feel like it. Well, there's a lot of freaking bulbs here. Yeah, Louis, you grab you grab them, I'm gonna release them. So you came from Shipshape Island? Never heard of it. What kind of place is it? What? An island with the Unitree? But after the continent split apart, the Unitree disappeared, right? A new Unitree, you say? Incredible. I gotta see it. At least on the bright side, it's easier to play this game while drinking tea, so I can have my tea in my left hand, sip, and just control the stick and A, and that's all I have to think about. Oh, yeah, I need my- I need my BP up again. <laughs> it's like it's like they're charging up. That's what it feels like. Oh no, speed up. And you're gonna you're gonna be a douche and heal. Wait, so I think I, I think I think um that's not how speed works. I think they just get extra turns if they want to heal, which is really stupid. <laughs> I'd like that there's a lot of enemies in each of the loadouts though. Like they took into to a, they took into consideration that yeah you probably should be using your bros attacks here. Ooh, candy! Our first candy of the game. Candies are looking a little different these days. Well, they're not like stars anymore. They're um they're like like actually like they're actually in wrappers, <laughs> which is kind of throwing me off a bit. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh hey, out of bound. Hey, Silent Hill 2 Remake Boundary Break. Nice. I might need to watch that actually. 
That sounds interesting. Are these the only- are these the only enemies on this frickin' island? There's these Seedle enemies? And I can't even first strike, bro. Ooh, that's a lot of- that's a lot of blue ones. What's even the point of countering if they're just gonna heal every time I hit them? Yeah, they're just gonna keep healing. Though I am kinda curious how the attacks look when you fuck them up. I don't know when I'll try that out, but we'll see. Alright, time to die, bitch. That is pretty good. Probably have a look at how my achievements are doing now. Oh yeah, let's look at the Nate, let's look at the story too. Unitree's burst of light. Mario and Luigi beat Grumbla. Wilma has long known him and gives the brute a stern scolding. Sail the sea currents, link islands, and search for the Great Lighthouse Island. Flowers on Floral Island. The Unitree's burst of light opens new sea currents. Why did the tree light up? Not even Connie knows. Use the bouncy blooms to reach the path of the lighthouse. Oh, that's what they're called? Bouncy blooms? Fun. Yeah, how are I do how am I doing on those challenges? Uh <laughs> these are still being worked on right now. So if I'm to make a uh, assumption that would mean there are what? 4 6 There's 10 bros attacks in this game, 5 for each brother, which you know honestly sounds about right. Sounds in line with how many bros attacks we got in previous games? Use items. I've used uh, items uh, 20 times. <laughs> no, thir 7 times so far. In other words, 7 syrup jars. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm getting close to being this one, though. Uh -oh. This one's still gonna- this one's gonna take a while. I don't know when I should unlock this one. <laughs> this might be one of the last ones I unlock just because of how out of the way it is. Yeah, how am I doing on syrups? I need- I have four syrups left. Resource B- HP and BP by 30%. Okay, they actually tell you how much it is. Because I remember in, um, Paper Jam, it was just like, eh, it heals like a little bit. It's like, how much is a little bit? <laughs> it doesn't fucking tell you. I don't know, I just find that funny. Anyways, I'm having some Pop-Tarts right now. Pop-Tarts are pretty good. Honestly, the harder thing is not, um... Jumping on these douches' heads and having them heal. Well, you can't heal when your buddy's dead. I mean, it's kind of hard not to jump on them because their hitboxes are so big. Oh, 
Ooh, more turnips. Going to the lighthouse? You'll find it east of here. With the connector cut off, it's just a big tower now. <laughs> I'm kind of sick of fighting blue seedles now. I want to fight something new. Well, this is only slightly better. Alright, let's, uh, drink some more syrup. <laughs> Alright, bye, bit. How fast can you spam that R button, I wonder? Oh, I got a Seedle Seed. Nice. I'll save the BB for next loadout. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, okay, I guess we're fighting you anyways. <laughs> Oh shit, that's a lot of enemies. Now there's six of them. We really do need the green shell. Well, here's what we'll do. We'll, um, red shell the blue one and then have Luigi get, get rid of all the green ones. You guys are actually dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, I got another syrup back. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess that's how they know. They want you to be spamming bros attacks. I mean, if they're dropping syrups, they will punish your BP. Why not, right? You can't hammer the bros anymore. <laughs> hey, fuck you, Luigi. Alright, let's get into position then. I keep pressing L and, L and R to switch back to the jump, but that doesn't work. It's like really throwing me off. Okay, I'm gonna go back and save real quick. I probably don't need to, but I wanna anyway. Oh wait, I don't think there is a save point here. Oh well. Oh yeah. I mean, it's not like there's gonna be a boss here anyway, right? <laughs> the timing is pretty weird. Oh.
I feel like the music's a little too quiet here. That's my only complaint, really. Like, I hear the water and the noises of the seeds getting knocked back. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about. We get to do all these flower mini games. These are fun. Hell yeah. See, that, that's really fun. I love doing those. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna try and finish up my pop tart. Oh wow, look at this camera angle. Alright. I thought I was the only one who'd actually come out here. Do you two dream of being adventurers as well? Mm, keep dreaming, buddy. <laughs> I love what that when you go idle, Luigi just kinda like looks around and he's like, hey what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> There's something I really like about that. <laughs> Holy shit. Man, the amount of enemies here is just getting crazier and crazier. Next thing you know, there's gonna be like seven seedles. Again, it, again I do sort of wish there was a bit more enemy variety. <laughs> My only real complaint, still. But I guess there's only so much you can do with that. I am really glad they went with this art style, though, because, like I said, I think an episode or two ago, it means that this game... This game is gonna be timeless. <laughs> it's gonna be another Wind Waker, you know? Where it just never ages. I mean, then again, all the Mario Luigi games are pretty timeless, though. But, like, they could release this game in, like, I don't know, maybe 20 years down the road and we have fucking 8K being the norm for gaming or something. And this game will look exactly the same it did in 2024. And it'll still look good, though. Uh, I'm just speaking hypothetically, though. So now, this is the kind of island I'd expect the first area in the game to be. But it's not. This is the, like, what, fifth island in the game? Fourth island? Fourth or fifth, I don't remember exactly. Oh, well, guess what, guys? We need more syrups. A syrup? What syrup? Peach syrup. I mean, honestly, dead ass. This is the only time we're gonna be using items in battle is to use syrups. Like, I haven't need like like, like how many mushrooms I have? Forty one mushrooms. <laughs> Like, at this point, I'm gonna get to the end of the game, I'm gonna have 99 mushrooms that I never used. <laughs> Probably. I mean, I could sell my mushrooms, I guess. You know what? That might be a, that might not be a bad idea, honestly. I think selling my mushrooms could be a worthy uh, investment. Ooh, we got some CLCs, at least. Ooh, I like how the shell also has that pink gradient that Mario has. That does feel super powerful, though. 
if there's one thing this game has going for it, is that the frickin' battle, like, attacks are so stylish. And I love that ever since Dream Team, they decided, like, let's make the green sh let's make the green shell and red shell 3D. Oh yeah. oh, yeah! Well, you know, here's the thing, right? I feel like by the time I get my next bros attack, I'm just about to do, like, my 30th red and green shell, you know? Okay. I feel like that seems like to be the norm. Alright, level 11. <laughs> Usually, like, um... You can tell how far you are in the game based on what level you are. So star rank will be like at the end of the game, I think. But since we're not even near boomerang rank, we, we've only just started this game, so... But who knows, because this game has kind of um, gone against expectations. With how, um, you know... Oh wait, I'm not supposed to go up there. Well, I am, but, you know, it's a good thing I fell down here, because now I can grab these. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, Luigi, Luigi, Luigi got one of the guys for me. Oh, shit! Bro, I was gonna get the first strike. I mean, they get the first strike anyways, so it doesn't really matter much. It really doesn't change shit. One of these days, I'm accidentally gonna hit the run button. That would be pretty funny, though. Wahoo! Guess what, guys? I almost ran- I'm almost out of BP again. <laughs> It'll be really cool if they introduce new battle themes throughout the game. I don't think a Mario and Luigi game- well, actually, the only Mario and Luigi game to have two battle themes is still Dream Team. And that's another reason why I like Dream Team so much, is it has two battle- it has two banger battle themes. So, yeah. Hey, you know what, let's just, um, do 3D Red Shell again. And then we'll have Linguini drink some syrup. What syrup? Yeah, cause Linguini has like no- no BP left? Oh, I'm out of syrups now. Oh shit. I need to find some more. Hopefully I find some. Oh, yeah. Lucky! Also, I noticed the little things that they're standing on. It kinda looks like the ones from uh, the Superstar Saga remake. So that's pretty dope. The little, like, glowy platforms. Man, now I just have frickin' Pop-Tart crumbs all over my bed. Oh. <laughs> Luigi has to work his way back up here. I do find it interesting, though, that I still th I think it is a very weird decision that they decided to make Luigi an AI in this game. It doesn't really feel like- it doesn't really feel like Mario and Luigi as much. It feels like Mario plus Luigi, you know? <laughs> I, you know what? That doesn't fucking make sense. Ignore what I said. Let me just check in the sea. Oh, there's something down there. Nerd! Oh yeah, I don't think I was able to get up there before. 
Luigi. Yeah, yeah, Mario plus Luigi. It's like Mario, and he sometimes gets help from Luigi. But Luigi's either- Luigi is never consistent. He's either extremely smart or, like, kinda dumb. Wait, we got another one here? Another area? Hey, there's a syrup. <laughs> Perfect. Well, guess I know what I'm using in the next battle. If there even is a next battle, for all I know, this is like the end of the island right here. This it this does look like the end of the island though. Yeah, I think we're at like the very end. Oh, there we go. Ten coins. Now, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we did it! I kind of like that every island follows this, like, get-to-the-top structure. Because it does feel really satisfying when you do get to the top. Alright, let's -a go! Boom. Take these. To the happy jig. Yeah, there's Floral Island now. You connected Floral Island. I honestly don't really see what's changing about the tree. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta get rid of all these fucking crumbs, bro. So annoying, dude. There's only one thing I hate about pop tarts and muffins and shit. They all make a shit ton of crumbs everywhere. Yeah, back. And you reconnected Florel Island. Smooth sailing all the way. Give me the next gifted island. I'm ready. Thanks to Mario and Luigi, all the islands in this region are connected. Next stop, the Great Lighthouse Island. Oh yeah! You remember what I told you about the Great Lighthouse? Uh, yes! What a relief. I hate repeating myself. It's those four huge lighthouses that are used to support the Unitree. Well, he, he told us a bit anyways, so whatever. Dang it, burp season's back. Ugh. But now the Great Lighthouse Islands, and those no good nicks took over one of them. We need to find out who's doing this, and why. Aye, right, Captain. The situation has me a little worried. With Mario and Luigi on it, what could go wrong? Yay! Yeah. Say, do we have a plan after the Great Lighthouse Island? We'll head for the colorful sea. To look for new drifting islands, colorful sea, oh my god. That's the whole reason we need to restore the lighthouse. Oh yeah, you said something about its light showing us the way. Aye aye, and only one person can bring back that light. That person being our very own Wadness, Connie. Huh? Did Connie go overboard? Weird. Where'd she go? And right when we need her. Found it. Headed out, Connie? Yeah, I just need some air. I think she's headed to another island. She, uh, knows she's crucial to the scheme, right? Sure, but she's still finding her sea legs in a lot in this. It's natural she'd be eager to explore a newly linked island. Just go after Connie and tell her what we need her here. Tell her we need her here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, she's young. She wants to go explore and let her do that. <laughs> I'm visiting from Floral. This island's natural features are thrilling. I was exploring the small northern path and saw a cliff I couldn't reach. I suspect there's something there. What could it be? 
I need, I need to keep track of like which NPCs are new and stuff. Oh yeah, this is definitely new. Fuck. Oh wait, we can actually wait. We can actually jump, thankfully. Wait, this is it? Oh, a golden guy. I am the grampiest of the Grampy Turnips, known as the Golden Grampy Turnip. You actually found me. I'm impressed. You're clearly more than just a mustache. This is a nice spot to be buried, I must say. One of the best places. But no one's come here, despite so many coming and going these days. So thanks for visiting. Now that that's out of the way, let's get to the main topic. There are 18 Grampy Turnips in this world, including me. How many Grampy Turnips have you met so far? Oh, I see. Three of us. If you meet three Grampy Turnips, I'll give you a reward. How silly of me. You've already met at least three Grampy Turnips. Good, I know that you are more than just a mustache. Take this. Hey! Okay, so there is a reason to meeting them, then. Next, if you meet five Grampy Turnips, I'll give you a reward. Want to learn about the locations you haven't met? Yeah. You've met all the Grampy Turnips on islands that you can visit. I might be able to offer more help if you visit new islands, however. You know what's coming. Heard that already? Sorry. Okay, so good. I've actually found all of them, then. I mean, maybe there's more, but I don't know. So, is there anything else I can do on this island? This is stock toad noise. Hey, it's Mario and Luigi! Oh! Wow, look at all these. Good to see you! We thought you guys might need some shops, so we started some up for you. Wanna see what we've got for sale? Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. oh nice, we got, a, we got a hub world shop now. There are also backpack wearing merchants. You can sell items you don't need. Ah, dope. Well, I know what I'm buying. I'm buying more syrups right now. Let's get like, uh, ten of them. That should be good. And while I'm at it, let me sell like all those freaking mushrooms I have. Like, Jesus Christ. I don't need 41 mushrooms. Alright, I got my money back. Um... Hmm. I think that's good. I guess I don't need Boo Biscuits, they're not necessary in this game, because this game doesn't have, uh, dodging. Like, dodging achievements. It's literally just if you want to practice the enemy attacks, but it's way more fun to practice them, uh... in battle, like, when you actually take damage. It feels more rewarding, honestly. Alright, so what kind of side quests do we do? Spiralia's new creation. It sounds like Spiralia started a new business. Maybe you could help her out in some way. I mean, we need to go back to Twisty Island anyways, so this would actually be a good this is actually a good opportunity. So, 12 and 13, not bad. 32 more battles. Lucky Star's going to take a while. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting we're getting to these achievements. Like these will just come as we go, and I like checking on them, you know. No beans? What's the star? I don't know. It's probably like key items or something. All right. Do you have any new um new equipment? No. I guess I can get a picnic hammer for Mario. I haven't needed to upgrade my armor, though. Like, I'll probably just equip whatever armor I find in the overworld, you know? The spa here is so wonderful, I just don't want to work at all. You're welcome to take a break here. Oh. So they finally have a heal now, a healing spot. If you're looking for Connie, she went to Floral Island. She seemed kind of fidgety. It must be important to her. 
I mean, doesn't she enjoy gardening? I feel like that makes sense. I don't know, maybe just just me? No, doesn't it make sense? All right, let's go to uh, Twisty Island. I mean, we gotta we gotta get some twisty uh, materials anyway, so this would be a perfect opportunity, honestly. Oh yeah, we get to listen to this music again. The more I come to these areas, the more um, the more it's gonna become iconic for me. I already went over here, right? Yeah, I already came back here with uh, when the flowers are bloomed. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. Mm Mario! Dang, the bros really don't like getting separated in this game. And in a way, the bros have kind of degraded. <laughs> Because in the first, in Super Star Saga, they can get like hella split up, and they'll be perfectly fine. But in this game, you walk like five meters away from Luigi's, like Mario, don't leave me alone, Mario. Lu Luigi really is just the embodiment of guys, don't go wherever that is. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta find it. <laughs> Give me a sec. <laughs> yeah, Luigi did ask be like, guys, don't go. Guys, don't go. <laughs> please, no, please, no, no. <laughs> Literally Luigi. Should make, a, should make a joke about that for um this episode, honestly. Guys, don't go. Mario, don't go. <laughs> and then it'll just be like it'll just be like Luigi, but he's dressed up as Tatsuya or something. Now that'd be hilarious. Oh yeah, we can get we can get wherever that grating is now. I don't know what that is, but it looks important. Well, you know what? More more ch more opportunities to use the red shell. Even though I literally don't need to, but I want the achievement, so I'm doing it. Ooh. 144. That's a new record, I think. I mean, if you think about it, though, the green shell is the OG bros attack. Well, sort of. I mean, if we're not talking about the Superstar Saga ones, it's like the like the OG bros item. I mean, it, t it technically came out in a game that didn't have BP, because Partners in Time is weird like that. <laughs> but I mean, I still want to. I still want to play um, Partners in Time someday. So what is this all about? Can I like hammer this? Weird. Hey, you know we probably need to we probably get like a drill ability or something later. Maybe. The sword board. Yes. Oh, we got a new record, 163 damage. Actually, if th there's a random thing that I really like when RPGs do. I, I The only game I can think of that actually does this, though, is Neptunia. But I love when, um, like, the game, it has, like, a bunch of random-ass records after you beat a battle. Like, it'll say, like... Here's how much damage you did, and if you make a- if you get, like, a new record on how much damage you did, it'll say, like, you got a new record on your damage. It's like, you did a thousand damage, that's a new record for you, buddy. And I don't know why, I really like that for some reason. 
That's pretty funny. Go time! Go time! It's time to fuck up more boars, because it was boar all along. Yeah, it really was boar all along. Back of that boar is fucking dead. Okay, well, anyway, guys, once I actually get that achievement, I probably will stop spamming the, uh... I probably will stop spamming the bros attacks, unless it's, like, a loadout of, like, four more enemies, probably. Yeah, those boars ain't shit. They used to be threats, but now they're not. Have I got any twisty items? Yeah, I didn't even keep track of that. No. No twisty items? I haven't gotten shit yet. Well, maybe they dropped from the parachutes. Dang, I can't hit these guys for shit. Oh, well, I can't even use the red shell on these guys anyways, so... Yeah. At least they die in one hit. Alright, Linguini, you know what time it is. It's time to drink a syrup. Chug. Chug a syrup. Yeah, I'm assuming if you try to use the, the red shell or green shell on him, it doesn't do anything, it just misses. And you get, like, a funny miss animation. <laughs> So how are my achievements doing now? Nine and ten. Okay, we're getting closer. But it's still, I still don't have any, uh... I still don't have any item. Or still none of those twisty uh, items, though, sadly. They're a lot rarer than I thought they were. I mean, worst case scenario, I'll probably have to grind for them. Which is not ideal. Any sort of material grinding in games is not that fun. I prefer to just get everything as it comes, you know? Yeah. He gone. <laughs> he very gone. I mean, at this point, I'm just padding out the episode. It's not intentional. I just want to do the side quests, man. <laughs> It's gonna take me a while to get through this game since I'm gonna be doing like every side quest that I come across. Which is, uh, you know, for better or for worse, really. Is there anything over there? Oh, no. Good job, Linguini. Loogie Linguini. Hey, we might actually get to see the green shell miss this time. Oh. You know, I realize we haven't come across any spiky enemies in this game yet. That's also kind of interesting. Oh, wait. Wow, it's actually smart. Wait, so if there's if the la if the last enemy that the grain shell can kill is grounded, oh, 
That guy goes over the, your head. That's kind of smart. So yeah, like I was, what I'm trying to say, if um, if the enemy's flying, then it won't kill the enemy and make your attack miss. That's pretty smart, honestly. Whoops. You know, Mario, you can have you can have a, you can have more BP. Why not? Here you go. Man, I hate sneezing. I almost fucked up my attack because of that. God damn. That would have been pretty shitty, honestly. Where the fuck are my materials at? I, haven't, I don't think I've gotten a single material yet. Wow. That's actually bullshit. You have to kill them with regular attacks to get to get it, or what? I don't know. And it, it isn't working. <laughs> I haven't been getting item drops. Well, I got a nut. I didn't even know those guys could drop nuts. That's news to me. Cramp, 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 cramp. Wait, can I go up there? Oh man, I was trying to see if I can hammer him. That would have been funny. Would have been very foony indeed. Okay, perfect, uh, perfect loadout to see if I can get, uh, item drops. No item drops? Man, they're, they're stingy as fuck, they don't want to give me shit. There we go, there's one. One of, like, three that I need. Okay, never sell materials ever again. Bad idea. You might you never know where we're gonna need them. Sell them at, like, the end of the frickin' game or something. How the hell did I get up there? Hmm. There we go, I got the first strike time, yeah! It was bull all along, dude! I still don't get- I don't really understand the four all long joke myself. It's just funny to say. <laughs> it was like- it was like Bowser's boar story or whatever. Four all long story. <laughs> which, which also sounds really silly. Well, I basically get one bros attack, one bros attack and a like counter per um, loadout, essentially. Gotti. And who knows? We might get a level up if um, we might get a level up on this island if we're lucky. I don't know. Did I ever go up here? I don't remember. I think I did, actually. I don't actually remember what's over here, though. Oh yeah, this is how we... This is how we saved her. We went up here. Right, I remember now. Oh wait, the worms are gone now. Interesting. Oh 
Oh, we can pluck some vegetables again. Yeah. All right, Luigi, chop, chop. <laughs> My, if it isn't Mario and Luigi, I trust you are both well. Well, I'm pleased to hear that. You know. Getting connector flowing to this island really puts some pep in our steps. But we can't stop there. We can get ourselves pep to pop even more. Yes, and that got me thinking. I've started a new business. Feel the twisty in your feet. And in your brain. Zip, zip, zip. But don't trip. My puzzle panel challenge will stump your steps. Ta-da! Yeah! That's how I'm going to intro my new game area here. Sounds fun, right? Must be, it's popular. Those icky bugs are keeping everyone from the island away. Ugh, disgusting critters, they tend to gather in bright places. Perhaps if someone cleared my game, they'd get a hint and go. I doubt that even you, Mario and Luigi, could beat my, my game and the bugs. Oh yeah, we can definitely do that. Oh, you give it a try? Well, how characteristically bold of you. Best of luck solving my puzzle panels. And I got a picnic hammer. Well, let's try it. Hmm, odd eight. Oh. <laughs> Luigi's gonna blow big brain again. Hey. Oh. All right, what what are we doing, Luigi? Um, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you, have to, you have to go there before Luigi fucks it up. Congratulations! Feels the twisty in your feet and in your brain. Zip, 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 but don't trip. Normally, my puzzle palette challenges stump steps and baffles brains. You know, you're the very first brave soul to accept and complete the challenge. Wonderful, magnificent. And the worms are leaving. Oh, the bugs have scampered off. Well, that's all sorted. Now everyone can enjoy my new attraction. Yeah. Yeah, pick the camera. Don't I already have a picnic hammer, though? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Dang it. Man, I always make this mistake. I always buy shit. And then I end up not needing the, like, frickin' reward. I mean, I guess we can sell it, right? I mean, it, it's not about the reward. It's about having fun doing the, um, the, the side quests, you know? Anyways, I got one twisty leaf here, which means I probably will need to come back here. Anyways, you're gonna have this picnic hammer, I don't need it. And also there's this. But I still need to beat that. I don't know when I will do that. I might honestly put it off until the end of the game or something. <laughs> Just because I'm lazy that way. Yo oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm lazy. Let's go. <laughs> and I mean, I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a rush to beat this game or anything. I'm just kind of enjoying and taking in the game. I'm just glad to have a brand new Mario and Luigi game. So now we need to go to Floral Island, which is where Connie went, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's what they said. 
And there's still fucking Pop-Tart crumbs on my bed, god damn it. I saw that, I saw that guy. I think I can interest in you and take a look at what I got. You, you have like the typical shit, right? I'll stock up on more syrups then. And yeah, this this is this stuff is the same. I don't need to upgrade my armor. I haven't been getting hit. <laughs> and honestly, it's more interesting to do a like a lower armor anyway. Well, how would you, how do you de-equip? Currently equipped. Oh yeah, so if you want, you can remove all of this shit. And that's how you do, like... That's how you beat enemies without, um, gear, you know? I don't know where Connie went. I might need to explore a bit. Oh yeah, should I, um... Actually, no. We can't, uh, we can't go across the sea yet. I came from Rainforest for some fun, but did you see where the lighthouse is? It's so high up that I chickened out and left. I actually don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oops, I keep doing that. Oh hell no. Nah. <laughs> Not more of these guys. I'm sick of fighting frickin' seedles. Oh wait, I, I wanna go over there. How do I get over there? I came from Twisty Island to relax. These colorful flowers are so cute. The flowers blooming everywhere makes the whole island feel alive. These areas do feel pretty alive. And there are like some flowers over here that I can get. Oh, uh, well, definitely not here. Oh, these are new. A syrup and a nut. I mean, honestly, still not, they're still not as, uh, important as they used to be. <laughs> Nuts used to be, like, so damn valuable. Oof, that was a close one. I mean, like, I could fight the Seedles again, but... Ah, it's just boring fighting them. Nah, 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 nah. Do I need to go to the top of the lighthouse again or something? I don't think anybody said I'm supposed to do that, but fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyways. Also, out of curiosity, are there any places here that are new? Oh, those are the only two like nectar flowers on this entire in this entire place. Okay, I guess we're skipping that enemy too. <laughs> this place is uh pretty complete then, isn't it? I have all the things too. I feel like you get a really you get like a super duper bros attack for um getting all the nectar or something. Okay, so Connie isn't up here. Alright, well... Wow, you fall really fast. I guess that makes sense. I feel like I basically got everything done on this island. Okay, we're fighting this guy, though. Well, more uh, opportunities to get my bro's attack usage up. Oh. 
funny that every time you kick the, the red shell, it just makes a burp. It just makes the Yoshi burp. Yeet. The bros are charging up. And I time to kick the green shell. Did I love the color green if you couldn't tell already? Yeah! And I got more Seedle Seeds. <laughs> I mean, those are just really important, you know? <laughs> okay. You know, out of curiosity, what does the run look like? That is the saddest run I've ever seen, bro. Man, the, the running, the running just gets, like, lazier in each game, I swear. I don't know, I still prefer how the first three games did it, where you lose coins when you run away. But I don't know, I mean, they're, make, they're trying to make the games more accessible, you know? I used to get a decent amount of coins, I think they get like five each. Those turnips are pretty damn good. Yeah, I don't know where, I don't know where the fuck Connie went, I'm just kind of looking around. Hmm. Why does it feel like there's supposed to be a hidden block over here? I guess there isn't a hidden block here. Hmm. Where the fuck is she? Where'd she go? Wait, did I deadass loop back around at the start? I came from Brumble Island to enjoy myself and bounce back from a slump. There's an artist of sorts around here too, I believe. Ugh, I miss having inspiration. These little flowers are simply splendid. It was worth coming here to sketch them. Oh, my mustachio gentleman. Good day, or perhaps good eve. I'm a humble crown crafter uh, looking to bring some spice into hundred lives. After intense training on Rumble and the basics, I want independ I went independent. There's not a better choice to adorn a bride's head in all of Concordia. Ha! Huh. Inspiration strikes. I must capture this design on paper. Ought to work with me. Salute, my mustachioed friends. Yeah, I'm at the I'm at the fucking start again. Um. Oh, she's right here. <laughs> I'm stupid. How the fuck did I miss her? Oh, hi Mario. Hi Luigi. Huh? I went missing. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to worry you. This is a place I used to visit with someone I admired, my mentor. My mentor was teaching me to be a Watanist. Oh, Connie lore time. Look! Isn't this flower pretty? It certainly is beautiful. There's a ton over there just like it. I'm taking this one home. Oh, but Connie, if you take that flower home, won't it be alone? Huh? Oh. Either put it with the other flowers or keep it company. The choice is yours, Connie. Oh, um... <laughs> My mentor was direct, and nice, and wise, and inviting. Just a great teacher all around. We're gonna relight the great lighthouse. You, and me with you. That's what a Wadnist would do. Yes! Oh 
Oh yeah, here we go. Might not seem like much, but I do feel that tree is getting slightly better. <laughs> yes! Alright. We're going there immediately, then. You mind if I stay here a while? I mean, at least we can go to a new place. She seems happy here. Oh yeah, we gotta go back, Mario! So it looks like there's, uh, no side quests left. Except for the one, but I'm not doing that one for a while. Cause I'm fucking lazy, bro. I mean, or I could do it before the next island, maybe. Thank goodness you're back! I had something important to tell you. It looks like there's an open current to the Great Lighthouse Island. Dang, that looks nice. Maybe we can get the tree's light going again. With a big foosh. The sooner we get to that great lighthouse, the better. Time's a-wasting. Just be careful over there. Alright, I forgot about the shady creeps that took it over. Yeah, like that guy. That guy's gonna be, uh... I know that guy's gonna be one of the bosses later. Whoa, what are these, like, red? These, like, red bulbs. Oh, there, there's uh, one of the bosses. We still don't know who did that, or why. Just be ready. Make any preparations to, you know, ship shape island before you go. Yes! Mario Luigi! We were wondering if there's anything we can help with. Oh, I just had an idea! What if ship shape island can move a little faster? Haven't you ever wondered that? Yes. Yes. I did. <laughs> Leave it to us! Huh? What, you, what will you do? Well, take the weird big leaves we found on Floral. Twist them into fans that flap like crazy. Then use the power of connector. Ship shape will move faster, probably. Oh, yes! It's all because our pals Mario and Luigi linked up the islands. Yes, we did it. So if you ever want to plow through the seas in a hurry, we'll give it all we've got. Okay, we'll get things ready. Those are the most useful toads ever. When you want to sail faster, you can speed up ship shape island by pressing X. Thank you. I needed that. I probably won't use it yet, though. We were talking about how, how much we wish to help you out, Mario. Could you come with us? Okay. Or I could go back. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go grind on um, Twisty Island so I can get my uh, Twisty Leaves. So, I'll uh, meet you right back. I'll meet you right back under the save point. Well, I did promise I'd be back here. <laughs> so anyways... Um, grinding didn't take that long, actually. I killed, like, two Sorbors, and I was able to get it. So, thank God for that. Yay, we can get... Okay, so, there's no heart blocks because there's a spa now. And now this place is looking a lot more lively all of a sudden. Alright, I have your fucking materials now. We can finally get this quest done. There you go. Take a look, it's all great stuff. 
Mm. So yeah, battle wary gloves. So you either get defense at the start of battle, or you get pow at the start of battle, which is pretty good. I prefer pow though, obviously. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, hey, BP gloves aren't too bad either. I mean, you get you get one of these for free for doing the quest, anyways. So, I might as well keep it. Just you know, for just for the novelty, really. Um. Okay, so these are store HP and BP by fifty. What do the ultra ones heal seventy percent? Then I don't know. I have a lot of nuts. I think I'm good. From what it seems like, he doesn't have any, um, like, new items added to the workshop. Really? No. I think that was just the thing that he added recently. Oh, hang on. We need to get to that island real, really, really, right now, right now, come on. We gotta skedaddle, we gotta get there before it disappears. I'll talk to the, um... I'll talk to the Reef Lady later. I need to get to that island before it goes away. Great Lighthouse Island! There it is. A Great Lighthouse Island. I'll be heading to that island soon, too. After all, only a wadness can bring light to a great lighthouse. You two go on ahead to the great lighthouse. I'll be right behind you. Yes! Hey, wasn't someone saying something about helping us? We gotta at least hear him out. Yeah! Alright. I forgot about that. <laughs> There's, like, some guys waiting for us or whatever. Where were they, anyway? I'm here visiting from my home in Floral. This is such a lovely place. This sounds very green, but I have to say, it could use more color. Don't you think it'd be more beautiful if there were some flowers over there? I do. That's why I've ordered something nice. Look forward to it. Oh, man, this hub is great. Connie told us everything. If you're on a journey to restore Concordia, we want to help. Although we're not cut out the adventurers exactly, but we sh we could be at your advisors. Advisors? What does that fucking mean? And by advisor, we mean give you helpful tips. Oh, I guess that was obvious. Anyway, Mario, you're at level 11. Luigi's at level 11. You two are play strong. I'll give the- I'll give the two you a gear check. As your hammers... Hmm, er... Your hammers could stand up to anything. As your current wear, what have we here? Both of you wear situations stand to be better. If you wanted the best right now, that's the picnic wear. As for your boots, so let's wait right in. You could walk all over the enemies in those boots. Okay, so... These guys... They just say, like, hey, dumbass, buy better equipment. That's funny, that's funny, though. Yeah, feel free to consult us before heading to a new island. Um, yeah, in other words, I'm probably not going to do that. <laughs> Can I go to the new island now? I'm picking up the faintest trace. I suspect an island's nearby. Let me tell you about the Great Lighthouse. Concordia used to have four really big lighthouses. I think I think we know about this already. <laughs> they might guide us to where we need to go next. Those motherfuckers. They wasted my time, and now, and now the frickin', uh, now the frickin' island is gone. You fuckers. Oh, wait, wait, you're approaching a route. Hold up. Never mind, this is, this is actually good. This is actually a good thing. 
Hold up. Oh my god, it's a blooper! Squiddish Reef. Squiddish? <laughs> what is this, Harry Potter? Well, you know what, now, now we have time to talk to you. Hmm? You guys, you found a new reef for me. I'm happy I got to see something that rocks. Now take your reward. First contact gloves. See, I really want to take my time and admire the gorgeous reefs you found for me. So, I'm thinking of making some reef replicas. Sure, it'll take some time, no doubt about it. But you guys go off adventuring, I bet I'll have one done for the next time you're on ship shape. Mm-mm, count on it. The number of rare reefs you found is three. If I have four more, I'll give you the reward. Oh, it'd rock if you take a look at the reef replicas I make sometimes. They're on display somewhere on ship shape, so look for them. Um, well, let's have a look at those gloves that I just got. Boost power and defense by 15% at the start of a battle. Oh, shit. So those are just better than the battle-ready gloves, then. Hell yeah. Well, then, we're gonna... we're gonna get cooking. So where, where are the toads at that increase the um, speed of the boat? I need to look for them real quick. Hmm. Let me have a look for them real quick. I mean, I need something to do while the island comes back. Yeah, can, can we do that? Are they actually speeding it up, though? I can't tell. How do you how do you speed them up again? I I, I need to look that. I need to look at the freaking settings now. Um, I don't think it actually tells you here. Hmm. <laughs> Luigi logic. Um. Yeah, I don't think that's. I don't think we. I don't think that's anywhere here. Is there another toad somewhere around here? Yeah. I mean, let's just see if there's anything new on the island for us to do. Yeah. Well, obviously we're gonna get some sort of ball ability that lets me go through tight spaces. Not sure when that's gonna pop up, though. I guess we'll see, though. Oh, faster sailing on. Oh, you do it from the map. Okay, I see. That is a very nice feature. I'm so glad we have that. Oh, that would have been nice to have last episode, honestly. Alright, let's actually fire there. <laughs> oh, no! It's time to go to the next island. Alright, how's Luigi gonna eat shit this time? Wow, Luigi just frickin' face planted, bro. Great lighthouse island. Oh, damn, they're ready. Oh, yeah. I mean, where the fuck are we? This isn't this isn't the opening. Oh yeah. Oh wait, never mind. It is. I oh, see the save block. Oh, now that now the music is getting intense. Oh yeah. That's what I like to hear. I think the further we get into the game, the more epic the music's gonna get. Which, uh, I like the sound of that, honestly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Yo, this this blue grass looks pretty no pretty nice, honestly. Uh, I see some pull-up things there, whatever you want to call them. No no messages? <laughs> Dang it, I thought I thought that was Jose messaging me. It was actually Luke instead. I mean, honestly, since Jose wakes up so fucking late anyways, I feel like he can wait. He can wait for me to finish my brothership recording. <laughs> oh, we got a shop here. Pretty nice. Is there a, is there a hidden block somewhere around here? Why do I feel like there's a hidden block here? I don't know. I can't see it. Do I have enough syrups? Yeah, I mean, you can never have too many syrups, so let's buy like five more. I'm a I'm a coin hoarder. Actually, okay. So yeah, the cozy wear. Wait, hang on. I still have the so-so wear. Wait, where the fuck did Luigi's gear go? Wait, why did- wait, Luigi's still wearing the dirt cheap wear. Wait, where, did I fucking sell my equipment or something by accident? I might have, honestly. Yeah, we can buy the cozy wear for Luigi, I guess. I don't really care too much about the defense, though. Because I haven't healed a single time in this game, bro. At least, in battle. Maybe this is finally where that changes. Maybe we'll get, like, a hidden block detector later or something. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No hidden blocks anywhere here? We're preparing. Ooh, sub level one. This is like a real dungeon now. Re real dungeon alert. Oh shit, there's the four enemies. I was just talking about not seeing um, any uh, spiky enemies. Alright, what are these called? Spikelies. <laughs> Bit of a basic name, but alright. Oh, now he decides to fucking wake up? Are you serious? Alright, well, I guess I gotta end the episode then after this uh, battle. <laughs> we get a, you get you guys get a little taste of this dungeon then. <laughs> Bro, why the fuck does he wake up at like 11.30 in the goddamn morning? Man. I guess this is the pains of being an early morning person, huh? Okay, well, you guys get a, you guys get a little taste of the dungeon then before we go in. So, yeah, let me just go back to the save point. Yeah, I think we'll call it there. But we, we got a decent amount of stuff done. We got an island finished. We did a... We finished up a few side quests. Not too much, but hey, it's something, I suppose. But yeah. Anyways, um, I might try and record more of this later, but for now, um, as always guys, make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch, and um, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Brothership, so see you guys then.